Hello lads, welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green on a water run and uh, I've left this waiting again and I don't know why I want to play this, I want to finish it but I've been slacking and uh, I take full responsibility for that because I really should be playing more of this and, uh, and I, guess, I guess the main thing behind it is I kind of screw up, screwed up in the last episode uh, you know when I left off with just Zapdos? Hello, Magnemite. Well, I kind of, maybe, sort of, sort of, maybe, um, accidentally <laughs> engaged Zapdos in a fight, and, well, let's just say that I ruined up the entire build-up to the scene, because I still have the save state in the actual fight, and uh, I had to go all the way back here just to do this for you. <laughs> Dedication, am I right? But, yeah. Uh, I have a safe state for in the battle, because I kind of just rushed there, and I don't want to lose all the progress I've made here in particular, so I just, just sort of just dashed there. It didn't take that long, so, um, stupid idiot passed me. Anyways, uh, let's do this already. Yow! The wild Zapdos appeared, even though it's could bet hardly be called wild, but all right. Now, oh, I got my ass kicked in this one. Shit. Now, uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do with this guy because he's, you know, a legendary. That's probably the one that's gonna kill me the most out of all my team, considering that he is the electric one, and none, none of my dudes are. None of my dudes even take neutral damage from electricity. They all are weak to it. So have I oh. Wow, I have I just got three notifications. Three bad endings and wow. So uh I don't know, I'm probably gonna have to abuse safe states or something. Maybe not, hopefully not. I mean not safe states in the middle of the battle, but that's cheating. I mean safe states as in loading the state instead of just soft resetting the console, or yeah. Now, I actually am faster than him, somehow. That's nice to know. Uh, does he actually know any electric type offensive moves? He might not. But I guess a good thing to re. Uh, a good thing to. Wow. That did not fare well for me. Now, a good thing to know about Zapdos is that he doesn't have any recovery, just like the other, just like the other guys, pretty much. Oh, but he does have that, which is kind of annoying. So he has Drill Peck, uh, Agility, Thunder Wave, Detect. Does it have any Electric? Huh. Okay, I guess I'm safe then. His only offensive move is Drill Peck. Okay. Okay. I'll bite. I'll bite. Now I just need something that does pitiful damage to him. Bite. Bite will probably do. Bite might kill him, but... Well, no, I should use a physical fighting. Yeah, Brick Break. Brick Break will do it. Oh, but... Oh, he has a uh, Drill Pick, though. That might... That might kill me. Uh, it didn't kill me. <laughs> well, he's faster than me, for sure, but that doesn't really matter if I'm just going to toss balls at him, because no matter how fast he is, he can never really outspeed a Pokeball. Haha! <laughs> now begins the fun part, the fun part of uh, tossing balls until he gets catch. Now, uh, you might notice about something about this video, in that it's actually the first one I've made, or first one I've made in a while, that actually has a custom thumbnail! Yay! The reason why I haven't been making custom thumbnails for a while... It's just because I thought, oh man, I don't want to do that, it's too much work, I have to make a new image every time, I have to start from scratch. But... I don't have... Whoops. I don't have to do that, I don't have to make... <laughs> I don't have to make a new... Fucking... Image... Just for every single thumbnail. Like... That's why I, I could just use a template one, or at least 
a thematic one for the playthrough instead of just using the obligatory thumbnail generator, which I shouldn't do, but I have been doing for the past something something episodes now, which stinks, but hey. Oh boy, I've just, I've just been, oh apparently, oh wow, that didn't, that didn't do much damage at all. <coughs> yeah, that's another thing. I've kind of been sick for the past week. Yeah, I've been sick for the past week or so, and uh, that pretty much stopped me from both recording and streaming, which sucks. But, and believe me, it had some of its bad moments, like, there were some nights where I just couldn't sleep at all, just because of all that, just because of the discomfort I was in. And that really was bad to go through. Just putting it out there. But I'm fine now because uh, the, dis the disease, whatever was getting me, probably was the flu. It mainly... Pff, a crit. It mainly just left my body at this point and I could... <laughs> the only real effect right now is just a bit of snot. So it's all good. So I, I should be fine about now. Why did I use that? It doesn't have any specials. The funny thing is that people consider Zapdos to be the best one, and I tend to agree, but if you want to use him, you pretty much have to teach him TMs if you want him to be good as soon as possible. Mostly considering that he doesn't actually know any special moves, he only knows uh, Drill Peck. And as we saw back then with Polly Rath, he's not exactly good at use. Fuck you. He's not exactly good at, you know, using physical moves. His special is much higher than the physical. At least on oh, man. Yeah, Zapdos special is uh, much higher than his physical in both in both respects. I mean, he's not particularly he's not really a special tank in any sort of way. He's not really defensive. I mean, he's definitely, he's definitely more defensive than he is. He's definitely more defensive in special than he is in physical, but he's not really excelling in either of them. As opposed to Articuno, who is just a really good special, uh, special tank, really. In fact, let me, look at, let me look at the stats right now. Let me talk about Zapdos. In his entirety. Because this, this is probably going to take a while, and it's not getting to the point where my commentary is shit enough to actually uh, speed up the video. So, yeah, Zapdos, let's see what your stats are like. In, uh, well, they, they didn't change the stats. It, no, I don't think they would. What are they like? 580? 580? We've got. Oh, oh my god, no wonder I was complaining. Everyone is like updating the cookie policy. What the hell? Well, Bo Bo Bo, you're probably the best one at taking physical hits, so I'm just gonna go with you for a while. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I like him here. So he has a 90 base HP, which isn't bad. His 90 attack, which isn't too bad either. He has 85 defense, and yeah, 85 defense versus 90 special defense. That's that is a uh, very different. I thought there would be like a 10, dif you know, difference of 10 and not five, but okay. But he has 125 special attack, which is extremely nice. That's definitely something to uh, be happy about, since uh, that's definitely a really high amount. And we'll definitely put a dent in with the nearest Thunderbolt, which unfortunately I uh, don't have. <laughs> well, I might... Uh, what do I, I think I do have it, it's just I haven't teached anyone it yet. Have I got it? I might. Well, the thing about Zandos is that back in Gen 1, his special, you know, his standalone special stat was 125. Yeah, and that means both his special attack and his special defense was at that amount. Which is insane. Because, uh, that was pretty high. Like, if, if Xandos was a Pokemon right now, he would be like, his BSC would be fucking, uh, uh, probably about, hold on. Ooh -hoo, let, me do the, let me try to do the mental math right here. 
yeah, about 35, 35 higher, which means his stats would be like 650. And that's, uh, that's, that's just higher than, that's higher than most typical legendaries. I mean, right now he's actually lower than most legendaries, which is because he's at 580 instead of 600. But yeah, let's see what Articuno's stats are like. I know that he's not really good because of his weaknesses. Okay, so okay, so so special is, is pretty much exactly the same as Zapdos, all right. Hmm. Okay, I guess. But I guess the thing that made Zapdos pretty much extremely OP back in Generation One was probably the fact that uh, there was there wasn't much that could stop it. The best Pokemon were obviously specials, and this this is this isn't even this isn't even subjective. This is like literally objective, objectively speaking, that special Pokemon were outright more powerful than physical ones, just because of how the special stat works. And how physical attack and defense were split, but not special. Like that's a that's a massive massive problem. It was a massive problem. And this battle is for me. To be What's a sandwich? Eh? Okay, here's a sandwich. I don't mind using these because this is pretty much the hardest fight in the game. I mean, I'm not gonna use them anywhere else. Oh, fuck off! Like, what? 
Death Ball. That's another blue. Okay. If you want to be like that, fine. God. Maybe it's a punch taking while I'm back in the Sentinel. Oh my god. Let's see. Let's get out the lady. And hopefully. <laughs> oh my god, I just love it. Oh, because I think it's only like 10 PP. So I have no idea how it's anything to procure this much PP from the 
can charge at this rate. because the only move that reliably does that is Thunder Wave. Oh! Oh! Okay, I guess I can stop ranting now. I actually caught him. Thanks, Zapdos. You took exactly 30 minutes of my time to be caught. How does that feel? Woo! Give me a nickname to the capture Zapdos? Maybe. Maybe. Nah, you don't deserve one. Not after that shit. All right. And this was my actual save file. Hoorah! Now, I actually don't know what to do at this point. In fact, let me take a look at my... Uh, uh, yes, actually, I would like to save the game. I would also like to save my state. Furthermore, I'd like to see my progress. Okay, so I have caught every legendary Pokemon in this game. I have also got every gym badge in this game. <laughs> Memories. So, like, does that mean I can go to the Pokemon League now? Because I've pretty much done all I could. Unless I wanted to hunt down the TMs. I'm, I'm literally right on the end right now. Okay. I guess. I got you, you bitch. And you only use, like, all, almost all of my balls to get... That sounded wrong, but I don't care. Wait, did I heal? Or am I still suck? No, I healed. Okay. My instincts took over my uh, rush to fly. Okay, uh, hmm. Yeah, I pretty much have done everything. So let's go over to the place where I will uh, win, maybe, hopefully win. Move Pokemon. Get my something back in. No, no, not you. 
Not you, Slapzilla, the female. <laughs> sea Boil Seven. What? what kind of nicknames did I come up with? Chill. Forks and Zapdos. Not even a nickname. Just Zapdos. Considering that battle took all of the video, I'm thinking I'm going to leave it here. Thank you, Repel. The Eternally Green Paradise. Nice house set. I should use uh, something like this. Anyway, thank you for watching, Mr. Viewer Man. You put up with uh, quite a lot today. In the next video, I'll... Um... Fuck, I don't know. I really don't. In the next video, I guess I'll just go to the Pokemon League and... Hopefully win? Maybe? I don't know. Depends on how things will go, but... It's looking like... I might be ending this soon. But yeah, thanks for watching. See ya in the next one. Uh, bye! Because... I can't really paralyze him because the only move that reliably does that is Thunder Wave. Oh! Oh! Okay, I guess I could stop writing now. I actually caught him. Thanks, Zapdos! You took exactly 30 minutes of my time to be caught. How does that feel. Ooh.